for, for those of you who were part of Virtual Symposium this year, who heard our speakers like Tara Brock and Esther Perel, and others, they talked a lot about the need for self-compassion in this time. One of the things you're bringing up is how we access self-compassion, right. which I think is, is, is something we often miss because we say, okay, go do it. We really need self-compassion. We really need to have a lot of compassion for others right now. But it's really good to hear that sometimes it's really hard to access. Mm -hmm. And that, how we, that, that if we can't feel compassion in this moment for ourselves or others, it's because our nervous system is in a state that can't access it. Right. And that we have to find a way to change our own state Mm -hmm. Back to what polyvagal theory is called our ventral state, our socially engaged, mm -hmm. safe, connected state. Right. We have to find a way to get back to that yeah. in order to do this compassion work for ourselves and others. So talk a little bit more about when we find ourselves unable to access compassion and we just want to get out of our stinking houses. <laughs> we just want to get back to our lives and we just want to get away from our spouses and we just want to do we just we just want things to go back to normal and we can't get there. How do we find our way back right. so that we can access compassion? So the 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 way to find the way back is to not be looking for it when we are in a total survival state, right? But to pre-plan. So when we have a moment of feeling enough of that ventral vagal connection, regulation, safety, when I'm feeling a moment where, oh, I can breathe right now and the world is okay. It's not great. It's not wonderful. I have no idea how I'm going to manage it in the next two weeks, but it's okay right now. That's a moment when you have an anchor in ventral that you want to sit down and think, okay, how do I find my way back to this place when I'm feeling that overwhelming need to run out of the house or um, get away from my partner or stop teaching my children math, whatever it is, right? This is the time when I'm feeling a bit regulated to think about that. And you want to think about that sympathetic, mobilizing way too much energy. What are some of the ways that I could discharge some of that energy safely? And then you also want to think about that dorsal experience when you are despairing, hopeless, um, in bed, not wanting to get up, no reason to get dressed today, there's no work. What are the, some things you can do to gently bring some energy back in? And you want to write those down. You want to have your map for those because when you're finding that you are in sympathetic or dorsal, you've lost connection to your prefrontal cortex. You can't plan it then, but you can probably pull that piece of paper out and read those things and say, oh, I can do that. So you want to pre-plan in that way, and then you want to make sure that you have your, your guide somewhere where it's easy to find. And, you know, I would, you know, recommend, and what I've been telling people is every member of the family needs their own guide, their own pathway to ventral, pathway to regulation, whatever you're going to call it, right? They need to make their own because, again, what works for me is not necessarily going to work for my partner for my child, right? And, and that's part of this lovely compassion that we can build in this, this time is really seeing how we're all put together a bit differently and there's no right or wrong, right? It's just the way we're wired at the moment. And I can look at you and go, wow, that's what you wanna do when you're sympathetically charged? Huh, never worked for me, but I'm happy to know it will work for you and I can have compassion for that. So one of the one of the outcomes of even getting to know your system and building your own map and having others build theirs is compassion, right? Is the self-compassion that, oh, you know, I can see the ways my system is asking me to tend to it. And that's really what's happening in this moment. Our nervous systems are asking us to care for them in a way that we're not used to doing. Right. And then the other nervous system that I'm living with is saying, and can you pay attention to me too? Can you have compassion for me too? And that's really what we're, what we're thinking about um, now is, is how to do that. Because yes, yeah, self-compassion and compassion is, is our way through this. And if I've lost any connection to that place of biological safety and regulation, um, I have no access to compassion or self-compassion.